You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. And now back to our sports show and the game of the week. Now in its 25th year, this week it's Motherlode League football. The Bret Hart Bullfrogs take on the Amador Buffaloes at Amador with sportscasters Jim Vinceguera and Larry White. Back with the second quarter action here, folks. 3-0. Amador Buffs on top of the Bret Hart Bullfrogs with a 21-yard field goal that first quarter. It's just start of the second right now. Second and five. For and Bret Hart. Testa with the ball. It. He's going to keep it. Oh, Whoa, everything came out that it time. It looks like White hit him first and then uh, Sweet. Oh, no, 70. 70. Zach Wilsey. So let's see what the call is. Holding oh. a Bret Hart. Zach Wilsey makes the tackle on Oh, that's right. They switched around. I was <laughs> second, second quarter of the game of the week proudly brought to you by Camps Propane, your local friendly energy company. If you don't already have the state-of-the-art smart system tank reader installed in your home, call them today because it's going to save you money and it's free. In fact, Camps is going to give you a discount for just having it. Smart system tank reader will show you the fuel level in your tank, inside and outside temps, and the time of day. With all this information, you're going to be guaranteed more efficient deliveries. Stop by or call Camps Propane at number 296-5544. And we didn't move the chains this time. We only moved the box okay, this time. Okay, so it's going to be second and 15. They started out with pretty good field position, but now yeah. they're, they're going yeah. the wrong way here. Yeah. You know, Grant Olin's dad loaned me a pair of binoculars, but I think he's... I can't see out of them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do the best we can. Okay, and he's back to pass, and... It's Has caught. a man open. Quentin Johnson and uh, Donald White. What's the flag? A face mask? Is that what he's calling? We'll let's see what it is. Couldn't have been a flagrant. I don't know. Personal foul. Oh, hit to the head. Oh. Not face mask. Hit to the helmet. So that's going to be a major, I think. Okay. Automatic first. Now who'd they call that on? I don't know. It was either White or Johnson because yeah. they were the ones that are over there. And Johnson so, just came out. So Well, I imagine it might have been Johnson. <laughs> All right, first down. The ball sits on the 35-yard nice line. That's the first positive yardage they've had so far is that major penalty. 44, no, Testa with the ball. He's back to pass, overthrows. Almost, almost threw it into number 30's hands, wide open. Sweet was more open than the receiver. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. So, second and 10 on the 35. And, and Shane was the one that got that interception in the first quarter. And if he'd have got that one, he'd have been gone a long ways. All right, we got slot to the left here is Conrado. And number four is wide to the left is Peel. Got doubles on the right side over there, too. We don't have their numbers. Single back. Out of the shotgun. Passes. This is going to be Conrado. Pretty quick on his feet. And White. And White drives him out. Stop him right there. Close to putting him into the uh, bench there, and that would have been another hanky out. Yeah. I okay. Positive yardage, though. Third down and two right now for the Frogs. That's that play to the whistle thing, you know. So third and a couple. I hear Coach Ray's uh, wife out here yelling at the boys. Gee. Old pig. Yeah. One of our games, my wife was sitting uh, below her, and she, my wife moved because everybody kept looking at her thinking it was Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, third and short. They're he's home tight. Testa, you know, uh, he's got it, I think. Yeah, Just down, he's long on where the to... spot. I, the ball's over the line, so. Yeah, I think they're going to let him have that one. Yeah. Looks like it was all. He Whoa. pushed over a whole uh, offensive or defensive line there. So the ball sits on the 45 right now with uh, 10.50 left in the half if you're just joining us. Three zip. Buffs on top by a field goal. 21-yarder in the first quarter. Whoa! Oh, oh, who moved? Which well, way first? Your offense is going to get nailed. Yeah. 
So while they're marching off this penalty, you know, we're talking about Jackson and development over there, especially at Dieter Park, but what else is happening around Main Street these days, Larry? Uh, we've got a lot of new businesses. We've got yeah, the National Hotel. The National Hotel's opened up, and that's that definitely that's got the, the wow factor. That's going to be the anchor, yeah. 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 yeah, there's a wow factor there, and uh, a couple of other businesses that went out and some buildings getting cleaned up. Stan's a wonderful uh, uh, businessman. He, he's pretty smart. He invested in that. He not only invested in something that he owned, he also invested in something that he hoped he could help the community with, and specifically the downtown. Um, Couple of cafes, a Cafe de Coco, and uh, somebody's trying to move into the old Magdalenos. And, okay. And of course, we always got to stand by. For That's complete to Conrado. Shane Street, once again there. Go in here. All right, second and uh, 12 right now. Yeah, and uh, you know, having the radio station on Main Street, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, you know it's, it's, it's neat to drive by in the morning and see Jim and Lucy in there and doing their thing. Doing their thing. Okay, he's keeping it. Well, I don't see how he's getting 145 yards a game. Uh, there's a group in there. It looked like Grant Olin was the uh, first man to grab him and. And I think Dylan Lanier and I believe Shane Sweet was in there. No, Shane's out here. All right, brings up a third down and a long six. Okay, they've been in the shotgun the entire offensive series so far here. He's back to pass. Oh, he's going to get nowhere to go. Oh, he's he's going to run he's now. Break it out. He just kind of fell down, maybe tripped, I don't know, but he only got about... And that's uh, Ryder Johnson in there. He only got a yard or so on that carry. I thought he was going to be gone. Ryder did a good job of staying home there. Okay, there so ready. fourth, and it's going to be a punt situation for the Frogs. Looks like we got... Uh, White and uh, Johnson are going to be deep, I think. Johnson's going to be midway. You know they got they got uh, smoked by Calaveras on a fake punt last. Oh, week. they did. So, huh? Yeah. So they uh, and it looks like White's going to get the ball. He's coming He's our got, way. If he can get by eleven, turns it up. Okay. Nope. Got ran out of bounds by one guy, or he could have been gone. Yeah. Up to about the 40, 39 that's yard number, line. That's at number 33. That, Conrado. Uh, Conrado there. That's a. Where do you get that? About the 20 yard line? Yeah, so about an 18 yard return. It's like he stepped out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. First and 10 for the Buffalo. So it's going to be first and 10 buffs. Again, tonight, Argonaut travels to Somerville for probably the biggest game in the Mother Load League tonight. Yeah, for oh sure. Yeah. That's, uh, Calaveras yeah. draws Linden, so. In Linden. And you know how it is, like I tell all the boys. Uh, Every team you go against is the best team in the league because you never know. There's been some yeah. uh, pretty upsetting events out there when you go in not thinking about. Got to take it every week at a time. Yep. Yeah. So that was uh, Griffin on a keeper there. It looks like number 22. Shane Hale. Shane Hale. Okay. Coming up out of the bottom there. So second and about four. Crowd's getting into it a little bit here, doing that let's go offense cheer. I think the other side's doing that let's go defense cheer. I don't know if they're cheering over there at all. I can't, yeah. White, okay. reverse, or I should say inside handoff. He's got to get around the corner. He's around the corner. There he is. And he's spinning, Positive and he yardage. got a first down. First down, gain of about 10 on that play, 11. So it goes into uh, Bullfrog territory. Again, Don White on that uh, on that first down drive. So the ball sits on the 43-yard line. First and ten buffs.
Inside handoff, straight up the middle over right guard. Not much yardage there. Johnson dropped by 20, number 25, 25 and yeah. 64. Logan Lowe in 64 is uh, Jared Taylor. Jared's a pretty good-sized kid, too. 6'2", 270. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of intimidating, some of these kids, when you're over on chain gang and they're... Yeah. And then they start breathing heavy when you they know, come we off were, the field. We were talking today. I mean, my cousin played a year ahead of me. and we'll just get that in a second here. Second and oh, eight fumble. drop. He picks it up. Wide He's open. Wide throw open. it. Oh, and he's... He didn't... He didn't go to number five, uh, Babbitt, who was wide open, yeah. and he missed Chance Dominguez. A uh, little throw behind him. But I think when, you know, late 60s when we were playing, we I mean, uh, we had one guy that went on to Arizona State. Was, he was about 240, 250 pounds. But other than that, the other tackle was about 180. And the guards were like 170, 175. And center, 170, 175. Now you add 100 to that, and you're right in, right in the game. Oh, an interesting thing. Well, we'll get to that after this play. Third and seven. A pass play here. Griffin looks, got a guy wide open. Oh. Sweet, in and out of his hands. That was catchable, but it just went through. So they'll bring up a fourth down. Talking about, I mentioned earlier I'm De La Salle alumni, but when I was there, they didn't have well, a football team. We were soccer, track, all right. tennis. Yeah. Yeah, they were just Swimming. they were just starting the, the football program. Swimming, bocce, badminton. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And then when they started the first couple of years, we couldn't get anybody that wanted to play us because, you know. But in De La Salle, you talk about a machine. They weren't, if they had anybody over 220 pounds, that was big down there. Still is, I think. Yeah. They just They're had just some quick, just they had some speed, yeah. Fourth down, they're going to go for it here on the 41 yard line. No, and he hands off the what? Nope, he's back to pass. And he's got a wide open. open. Quentin Johnson. Johnson, 21, gets inside the 25 yard line or on the 25. Taken down, First by, down. Number, taken down by number 11, Brock Pierce for the Bullfrogs. He was right there with them. They were like stride for stride. You're talking about De La Salle. My sister was a principal down at Deer Valley, a brand new school in the Bay Area. And anyway, they played De La Salle one night, and they, they were ahead in the first quarter. So she made them take a picture for the yearbook. Of uh, the scoreboard? Of, of the scoreboard to get it in the yearbook that they were ahead at De La Salle. So I probably only lasted a quarter, but yeah. inside handoff like here. Quinn Johnson driving, keeping those legs moving. And it looks like uh, number 56, you, Mr. Yellow Shoes, getting up. He's holding his He's back, hurting. too. Yeah. 25 in on the stop there, too. Uh, Logan, Logan Lowe. Okay. Rub some dirt on it, young man. Yeah, he's got a backache. So 58 comes in. That's uh, Mac McManus. 6'1", 230. All right, second down and five. And off to Sweet. Sweet's a power runner. And he's taken down by the most of he's the got defensive a, he's line. He's got an interior line there. Oh, oh somebody, somebody did something. Somebody, somebody got stupid. Somebody spit on somebody or kicked somebody or said something that they shouldn't have said. And it's going to go against. Is this going against? Yeah, it's going, it's going against Amador. Amador. Oh, They're marching yeah. it off here. What we have? First personal foul, but we aren't going to know what it was. Late hit or something? Well, I didn't see a late hit. What's the uh, what's the call here, ref? Come on, give it. I didn't see what he gave. It was a major third down and about uh, 15 now for the Buffs. Okay, we got trips left. 4.30 left in the half. He's back to pass. He's, he's bobbing and weaving. He better, okay, he's going to tuck it and go. 
He's going to drive you, over a couple people. I tell you, 58 here was on the ground looking at him running right at him. That's the guy that just came in, McManus. He could have nailed him for about a seven-yard loss and just kind of watched him run by. Looks like number 22, Shane Hale, and number 25, Logan Lowe in on that tackle. All right, fourth down. Now, this would be... Oh, this is too far for a field goal. Oh, no. You, come Wait a minute. On. They're going to take a timeout and think about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. We're talk about it. Say, okay, Josh, how do you feel? Jackson Tire Service, your tire headquarters since 1973. Technology is constantly updated, and Goodyear tires reflect the cutting edge in the industry. Drive with the assurance on Triple Tread, Comfort Tread, and Fuel Max tires with two locations to serve you. The community-minded Bavaro family and staff invite you to the Jackson Tire Store in Jackson and Jackson Tire in Pine Grove for all your tire brakes, mufflers, wheel alignments, all your needs. Goodyear brand name tires and the highest quality service. See the great folks at Jackson Tire Service. So did they bring out the uh, field goal kicker here or not? Uh, I, no, he's standing down here drinking water. Okay. Getting fired so, up for the, so I think they're fired gonna up go for the second half. I think they're going to go for it. Fourth and whatever on the 20-yard line uh, with four minutes to go. The way their defense has been holding uh, Bret Hart. Then. Yeah. Oko Sushi and Teriyaki Japanese restaurant open Wow. Sushi and Teriyaki. Wow. All right, let's see what we've got here. Okay, we got Thomas uh, White. Well, he started White to the left. That's kind yeah, of the coming, guy you want to watch. He's now White's right. over on the wide left. So to the short side of the and field is Johnson. I tell you, White's one-on-one -on -one up top. If he just ran down and cut into the post, they're looking for... No, they're oh, looking for oh. number one. Oh, oh. no. That Chance. was Conrado. He had it in his... We called his name all night, and he he, yeah. he had an interception was, and dropped it. Yeah, and that was Chance Dominguez. Dominguez was the intended receiver. It kind of popped out of his hands right into Conrado, but... Uh, well, actually, Conrado didn't really want to catch that ball. Well, that's true. Cause yeah. You know why? Yeah. He, he gained five yards by not catching it. I yeah. forgot it was fourth down. Yeah. All right. First and ten for the Frogs here. Ball sitting on the 20-yard line. So are we going to move the chains where they belong, guys? You're going the other way now. We're okay. No, the ch okay, okay. Yeah, we are. Right. Okay. okay. How's that glare? <laughs> that glare? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Double whites here. Okay, hands it off to number. Oh, oh what a good, excellent first hit there by number. Uh, let's see, who was that? Number 44. 44. That's Dylan Lanier. We've Dylan called his Lanier. name a couple of times yep. tonight, Larry. Yeah. He was. He read that one very well. No gain on the play. Grant Olin and Lanier. Oh, the Grant was in on that also. Grant Olin. I refer to him as Golan. <laughs> okay, he's back to pass. He's got a receiver. Nice stab by number seven. Went up high in the air. That's uh, Jake Bailey. And then uh, Shane Sweet took him down right after he caught the ball. But he came he off the Bailey. ground. Yeah. Came up to get it. So we get first and ten on the 35. Looks, yeah, that's it, 35. All right, Testa all the way at quarterback. And their leading rusher who has been stopped cold so far tonight. He's back to pass. Oh, somebody, uh, he's being he's chased down. He's flushed. Oh. Okay, yeah. First they, down yard. That's I how was, he's going to get it. I was wondering if they were going to call that uh, holding on. Uh, Did we get a flag? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike, Mike Bonilla got basically taken to the ground by a hold. Penalty called against Brett Hart. will bring the ball back. I'm still wondering if they brought Whitney Houston back, would she fly into Westover? <laughs> no? I know they couldn't put the Air Force band in a plane and get it over Westover. Single plane could get in there, but not carrying the whole band. I'll figure it out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Landed on go. the bypass. Yeah, landed on the bypass. Second, Second 12, pass. overthrows. Overthrows. Oh. Way overthrown. Yeah, Shane Sweet, he could have potentially. Uh, He's been open 
more so than their receivers all yeah. night here. Yeah. Could be a big night for Sweet. She's sure. already picked off one. Yes. He's had the opportunity in the area of being the receiver for their other team. He'd probably be a star on the other team, huh? <laughs> yeah. Bring up a second and 12. Bret Hart, you know, used to be really, really competitive in the league, you know. And it's just the program, I don't know, the last few years just seems to... Okay, he's... Oh, he's quarterback he's, keeper, nowhere yeah, to go. Maybe a, maybe gain of a yard or two. Going to bring up third and ten. Looks like number 79 in there. Uh, oh, Bryce Masson Stewart. Bryce Masson Stewart there on the tackle. You know, you talk about construction in town. We most exciting thing I've had recently is uh, Vince Guerra's ravioli factory got a roof. Oh, did they? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that good-looking guy painting all the fascia boards out there, yelling at everybody when they were going by, especially the inspectors? Yeah, yeah. The productivity is kind of low when you're that close to the highway. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a whole new. Uh, Whole new setup in there, ready for the holidays, so yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun. Nice and clean, green all floor. Clean, green, been painting. Got rid of all the roof leaks all that you've been the dealing with. We were getting and yeah. Now you can start using those uh, pots and pans for uh, cooking yeah, stuff right. instead of catching rainwater. No, 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 no. You use those five gallon buckets. <laughs> Still can keep the pots and pans clean. <laughs> <laughs> You're just telling me that. Huh? <laughs> There's. Uh, the funny part about it was your friend uh, Scott Myers, who is the uh, health, health inspector for the county, yep. lo and behold, was talking to Larry White, and Larry said, hey, I, we got a job over at Vince Gore Ravioli Company, and guess who shows up when the construction was, you know, there was sawdust all over the floors, and oh, yeah. particle board, and everything laying all over, nails all over. I was kind of hoping he'd run over a few nails, yeah. but he didn't. Yeah. But anyway, he came for his annual inspection, and I said, gee whiz, you picked the best day to come. It's the cleanest it's ever been. Yeah. He started laughing, you know, what are you going to do? Scott's good people. Oh, yeah. Work with him really closely yeah. and, uh, on a lot of all the restaurants in town. A little unfortunate situation with the old. Uh, okay, third down, major yardage, 12 for the uh, Bullfrogs here. Second game of the Mother Low League season. Both teams come into tonight at 0-1. Uh, Amador losing a heartbreaker last week to Calaveras. And the Frogs were kind of blown out by Somerville. I think about 32-6 to or something like that. We got an update about the Argonaut Somerville Well, I think we'll get one at halftime here. We'll do some telephone calls. All right. Whoa, oh, don't no. jump. Number That's Ryder 12. Johnson. Got a little excited, Ryder. Let's see what that so does. So it's for. still going to be third down and long yard six. You know, yeah, Is third it? and eight probably. Okay. Seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Six. We'll give it six. Well, I don't know. Let's see if we were at twelve. Subtract five. That's yeah, that's three. Well, yeah, we, yeah. We are known for doing <laughs> the math up here. Take off our shoes and gloves and. We must be getting close to halftime. We got the cheer coach in here bringing in a, a disc. All right. I wonder who we got tonight. Okay, he's back to pass. Screen, a little screen pass. 44, and I tell you, 44. 44 and fumble. fumble. And it uh, looked like uh, number 54. Lanier on the initial stop there. But it looked like number 54, Diego. Let's see who's uh -oh. got it. Uh, 54 looks like came up with the ball, and that would be Ken Williams. Yeah, here he comes. He's okay. excited. It must have been him. Whoa, he gives it a. He's getting rid of it, something off of it. His elbow pad. Yep. Yeah, he's yep. psyched up. Ball sits so, right now on the 45 yard line with 159 left in the third quarter. Or no, left in the half. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wake up, Jim. I wanted to get home earlier than I thought. Yeah. What do we got? I yeah, hope they have a two-minute drill here, Larry. Yeah, I hope they got something. You got White in the slot on this side. And he turns. He's Jacob. looking for somebody. Nobody He's gonna open tuck but it keep and go. it. He's going to tuck it and go. Gain right. maybe three on the play at the yeah. most. Yeah. And it keeps the clock running. Let's see if they do wise with that. We still have three timeouts. No, two, two timeouts for the... No. I don't know how many they got. That's second down and eight. That's one of the things that has been a little bit. They're a little slow on their plays. Yeah. yeah. 
White's moving. White's got okay, the ball. White going left. It's bobbing. He's weaving. He's still, still on, on his, his feet. feet. Oh, big oh. another flag. And flag. I think something happened over there. White got bent back, but he got positive yardage. I don't think he got the first down, but close to it. Let's see what that flag was. I, is that number 25 for Calaveras just stopped him? Logan Lowe. That was a late flag that went over on the right on the sideline. Oh, it's against blocking Amador. the back or holding. I think it had to be a block in the back. Somebody had to fire through there and get hit. So major penalty negates that positive yardage by White, brings it back to second down and 12 for the Buffs. Well, at least that that penalty was close to the play. I always, yeah, like, I always like those away. ones when somebody's running the ball away and the, the block in the back is 50 25 yards away. 25 yards the other side of the field, yeah. yeah. All right, second and long. 111 left in the half. It's back to pass. Up, oh, he's going to go. He's gone. Works outside. He's gone. A couple gone. more moves. He's going. He's 11 going. 11 did oh. not tackle low. So the ball sits right now on about the 15, maybe? Thirty yard run for Griffin there. That was number eleven for uh, I know, Paul by Brock, Brock Pierce. Pierce take, took him down. Okay, now we've got a timeout by Amador with uh, exactly a minute left in the half. The ball on sits on the twenty. So Amador has a chance here to draw a little blood before halftime. We are in field goal range. Well, that's, well, that's true, I think. The CCI County Country Contractors and the Murphy family wish the Amador Buffaloes a successful 2012 season. Proudly How's Tommy Fox doing over there? He's doing hey, a good job. Tommy doesn't say too much. Yeah. He's just, he's, he's you all been, business when he gets over here. You haven't been backhanded by him at all or anything. Uh -uh. He gives you a thumbs up, yeah. and that's it. You're ready to go. That's all it takes. Sign language. Yeah. And he does a good job putting it all together and getting it on the air. He'll be, uh, he'll be at the station tonight, taping it all together, splicing, got all the graphics in, and it'll be shown tomorrow morning at about noon, I think. 12.30, I believe. 12.30, yeah. so pretty quick turnaround. We aren't live, but darn near. Yuck. Next year. I was impressed last week with Comcast. They did the game along with us last week over at uh, Jackson, uh, the Argonaut game, and I did watch Comcast that family Comcast channel, and they did an excellent, excellent job. Not saying that Tommy doesn't do an excellent job, but they had the cameras to do it, I tell you. Here goes Griff, back to pass. White's in the end zone. Oh, he got he the ball. He caught but it, but I think he was uh, out of bounds. Yeah, he brought it excellent, in. Excellent, excellent catch, but a little bit too far. If he was just a little bit taller, well, or bigger feet, maybe. No, shorter feet. That would have put him in his the toes end. would have been in yeah. if he had. Yeah. All right, it's going to be a second down and ten right now. Eight seconds went off the clock. Fifty-two seconds left in the half. Incomplete pass block uh, stops the clock. Okay, we got uh, Keith Thomas, Donald White. White, Thomas right. to the right. Nobody on the left side, so we're going to flood this right side. Where's he Trying going? again, overthrown Johnson. Johnson. Quentin came I, around from the I, left. I tell you, uh, White and uh, Thomas were open there. If he could have seen them, they both had ran real good routes. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think he was. Uh, he being had his down mind, pretty, yeah. Well, yeah, he has mindset on this guy yeah. in the corner. Yeah, that that happens with the. Uh, mm -hmm. That was okay, kind of a third down, and ten. So. If they don't make it here, maybe we'll see the field goal. I'd like to, like to see him get a touchdown, but I'd also like to see him make a field goal, just so I can tell you, so, told you so. Told you so. We got white, wide right. Okay, one step to the right, cut back to the left, ahead of the goal post. That's all he needs to do. Over the middle. To, oh! Did he hold on? 
No. He, nope. Yeah, I think he got hit just before the ball got there. That, that was, was Ryder Johnson. Johnson. Number 12. He got it, took a pretty good hit right there. I tell there. you, that was an excellent hit because they didn't call it, and they were right there. So yeah. didn't have time to think about catching that one. Okay, here we go. Fourth down. Ten. The ball sits on the 17. And what are we going to do here? Well, I see Coach Ray Johnson talking to Griffin down there, so they're going to try to. Coach Ray's been a good asset here. You know, he followed up the boys from JV last year. He was offensive coordinator for the JV squad last year, moved up with Coach Baker. Coach asked him to come on up into the varsity thing, and uh, it's paid off. Ray, an old wide receiver, Jackson High, class of 1970. Okay. A year behind me. All right. And he's going Wide over open, two. number oh. 12 again, and that was overthrown that time, uh, intended for Johnson. So we're going to turn it over so on downs. Take over on downs with 35 seconds left in the first half. Yeah, like you were saying there, you look in the end zone, you see there was a couple of receivers that were open and kind of has a mindset. And hear the announcers over you there tell them they're throwing them the wrong you guy. you got to see them all, and it's yeah. tough to do. Well, it's way tough you know, to do. It's tough. All right, so what's uh, what's going to be the uh, bill of fare here? Are they going to just going to take a knee and maybe uh, walk in, or I think they are. Looks like they're in that uh, protect the quarterback prevent offense. Yeah, stick it around, and yeah, that's going to do knee. it for the half. It's going to be three nothing as these guys go in. Uh, second quarter of the game of the week been proudly brought to you by Camps Propane, your local friendly energy company. If you don't already have the uh, state of the art smart system tank reader installed in your house. Give them a call today because it's going to save you money and it's going to be free. In fact, Camps is going to give you a discount for just having it. Smart System Tank Reader will show you the fuel level in your tank, inside and outside Camps, the time of day, and with all this information, you're going to be guaranteed more efficient deliveries. Stop by or call Camps Propane at number 296-5544. And with that, we'll see you in the uh, after the commercial breaks with second half action. Again, 3 nothing. Buffs on top. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.